in the studios of 94.3 Radio 1. Very, very happy to have Supriya Patil and Bikran Tiwari. They are both from Adivasi.org. So if you remember, World Earth Day contest that I've been running on my show, that is in support, uh, that all the support that is coming from Adivasi.org because the handicraft gifts that come to you, they will be from Adivasi.org. They're the founders of Adivasi. Thank you so much for coming to my show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Annie. Your um, show, Green is Cool, is actually super cool. <laughs> uh, I've been working in this field of environment conservation for over a decade now, and I really understand the importance of mass contribution toward the cause. Right. And uh, you are doing that phenomenal job of inviting people from different areas of uh, environment conservation and connecting them with your listeners. Yeah. So yeah. thank you so thank much. Thank you so it's much. So, thank uh, you so much for that too. Really, really nice words, Bikrant. You. I will. I will say that you. <laughs> <laughs> your your uh, the topic you know green is cool but you are also cool <laughs> <laughs> you know you are you nice to hear that thank you <laughs> <laughs> so um, adivasi dot org I, I believe you both took up this cause um, it's not a cause anymore this is literally the need of the hour today True. if you are on one hand talking about homes to be made for people in the smaller you know sections of uh, or cities or uh, interiors or rural areas uh, the need for good life literally you know good sustainable life quality of life starts from the environment around us and then it goes to the other requirements that we have so uh, you decided to come into developmental sector or the sector where right. you know you think of uh, social causes as uh, as as your uh, uh, crucial step to kind of try to contribute as much as you can to society and kind of change people's mindset mm -hmm. when did this come to you because you're in a nice fancy corporate job before this <laughs> yeah, so uh, when you said you know uh, fancy job I was in corporate sector for almost a decade uh, you know after my education masters uh, from I am Calcutta and uh, in 2010 if I have to give you a very specific incidents I remember that you know around 2008 9 I saw three did movie okay. then, then, <laughs> then, then I, I read one book stay hungry stay foolish where okay. I read mm -hmm. about uh, Venkat Krishnan founder of give India and when I, I met him he uh, he was like you know inspiration key okay I should not make my life just like ATM machine I right. Right. give back to the society mm. and that's how I left my corporate job you know join give India as national head then after that I was uh, global CEO of grotis.com yeah. and while working in development sector I realized that uh, I should do much beyond you know what we have I've, and together we have done in the last 10 years and that's how this uh, adivasi.org the idea came in our mind right. that how we can you know shift a culture you know I would say inculcate a culture uh, where people can think about nature but not like a charity kind of thing Mm. But more like it's it's their duty, you know. Right. That's right. how this idea came. Oh, that's lovely. Adivasi.org. Just as the name goes, they have the tribal people of different parts of the country involved in this. So it is a process where uh, you're not the only ones um, from the cities who are working towards this cause, but you have joined hands with them and trying to make things better for them as well as better for the urban population. When it comes to Adivasi.org and uh, when it comes to the idea of working with the population that usually people don't go to mm. communicate with much mm. because we feel living in the urban areas that they don't get us we don't get them and then they are also very shy people mm. how easy was it for you then to you know reach out to them and start work so that you can also help them lead a sustainable life so, Priya? Yeah, so it definitely takes time, you know, to convince these people because they look at you like somebody coming from urban cities. So, the first reaction is very skeptical, like why mm. these people are here? What do they exactly want from us? Mm. But then we try to stay with them, like we go there many times. We try to understand their problems Catch. and suggest possible solutions. So, one is tree plantation, but then the adjacencies, what else can be done? Mm. So, for example, uh, if they are good at particular art, so mm. For example, uh, the artist of Tripura, where mm. we have recently been to. So they are very good at bamboo uh, making. Nice. But they were not aware of the marketing aspect of it. Correct. How do we reach uh, more people from cities? Or how do we spread our art to other fellow people living in mm. their villages? So from there, we got this idea that why can't we identify two, three skillful uh, people and you know, make them train other community members. Nice. And this Adivasi.org platform, we are kind of requesting people or encouraging people to come on our platform, plant trees and get these bamboo products as a as our gesture of reward or thank you to you. 
Oh, that's so nice. Uh, Bikrant, you were telling me that uh, Adivasi.org, the name that you thought of and you wanted to keep it very simple and basic and very true to, you know, what the origin is of this community. Right. And that's why you decided to go with Adivasi.org. Right. And then this thought of, uh, you know, planting trees. So if I'm buying a product from you, mm -hmm. then I am not paying you anything in cash, but I'm paying you in trees. Can you elaborate a little more? Yes. Uh, first is Adivasi.org, uh, the name, as you rightly mentioned, that uh, we believe that you know we are sitting in you know uh, cities or in metro cities or whatever you say you know suit boot kind of person but <laughs> if we you know, normally forget that you know ultimately we all are fr you know from the same ancestors like you know we mm. are Adivasi right? right and I feel no. proud to say that I am Adivasi right, right? right. I have right. no nothing to hide you know <laughs> yeah. and Adivasi is more about jal jungle jameen so it's soil right so right. this is why we believe that everyone who are connected from the root you know uh, with soil mm. And this is uh, Adivasi Tautovaji, as Supriya right, and we mentioned that we are not selling the product per se, mm. rather we are asking our supporters, your listeners to come on the website. Say mm. example, if you want to buy a, you know, terracotta product, okay, mm. made of, you know, some, uh, you know, very nicely traditional handicraft and all. Mm. If you want to get that product, mm. you may go to any other online platform, pay X amount and get the product. But on Adivasi.org, you will get the product free of cost right. by doing good karma. And what is that good karma? You have to plant trees worth equal amount of the product. So right. say example, if the product value is 2000 rupees you have to plant trees worth rupees 2000 right. and you get this product and freebies you know so you it's like a karma return you mm. do good karma get the rewarded by <laughs> adivasi.org oh, that's why yeah. like tree is your new currency you Correct. plant trees uh, don't pay us plant trees and get your lifestyle products right. and like i always keep saying uh, when anybody whoever started this whole idea of you need to plant trees was many many years ago mm. but i don't think we understood the essence of planting trees right. Somewhat now, because climate change became such a big conversation globally, that we are also paying attention to something called as climate change, oh. uh, to the fact that trees are just being cut without mm. any thought given, and that even forests back in Amazon are raised in the name of development. And so I always keep saying this, and I think it is true, everybody now agrees with it, and uh, well, we've done enough research to know that it's not the trees that need us, it's us who Absolutely. need the trees. Absolutely. Uh, you, I believe, in the past decade or more that since you started, you know, uh, work in this development se sector, have planted millions of trees. Right. Yes. Yeah. So start from, tell us about planting those trees and the change it brings to the environment. Okay. So you gave example of Amazon and all. I forget about those, you know, far Amazon. You talk <laughs> about India, you know, so yeah. Priya just mentioned that we were in Tripura, mm. you know, last week. And Trust me, Tripura was very much, you know, known for biodiversity, very good, you know, tree cover and all. But today, because of, you know, uh, development or greediness, people there, they have cut those trees which were there, you know, uh, as local trees and mm. now they are shifting for rubber plantation. And mm. the local community members who are good into, uh, you know, bamboo product manufacturing mm. and all, they said, Ki, sir, we have to now buy bamboo from other states. Oh. And the good quality bamboo which were, you know, normally growing here, now it's stopped because and it, the quantity is very less because they have shifted for rubber plantation. So mm. now we are helping to make them. a fast buck. Right, right. And now we are, but this is not the truth, you know. And you have to understand that it's all about the psychology. Mm. We can create, you know, bamboo production, uh, you know, unit there. We can we can make much better economical, you know, Correct. the ecosystem Correct. there by making, you know, these bamboo products. You read the data, you know, the data says, you know, this is on public domain that our country is import wood product timber product worth rupees you know worth US dollar 1.1 billion dollar wow. just Oof. imagine that kind of import we are doing currently and which we can you know we can we can produce in India mm. okay so now coming back to the uh, your question you know that how it works you know what we have so Together we have planted uh, uh, with uh, you know uh, different part of this country around 23 states. We have planted already around 17 million trees. Mm. Now we realize that we should do go beyond this tree plantation. So while we were doing tree plantation, we were engaging local communities, mm. you know, into the nursery work, pit digging, plantation, and all. But this time uh, we also realize that communities are forced to migrate to the nearby cities and town for their livelihood because Correct. tree plantation is seasonal activity. Correct. Then how we can 
can engage them how we can stop that migration which mm. is not willful it mm. is situation based they are going away from their family because the situation is not in their favor mm. now we thought that okay can we create a culture there you know the traditional art and craft tribal art and craft what they are export into so let's support them you know Correct. for that work and there you know we started this thought ki okay we we started adopting the entire village hmm. so we are now not only just supporting them for tree plantation but other things as well say example shifting them from pesticide and fertilizer based for agriculture to permaculture organic farming correct support preserving and promoting their tribal art and craft hmm. normally you know as you know that you know everyone you know but you know one doctor would like uh, his or her son or daughter to become you know doctor hmm. but no farmer wants his or her son or daughter to become farmer that Correct. is sad part yes because that is yes. not the saddest part yes. while we are yeah. in agricultural country right so there adivasi.org is trying to help these communities that you should not feel bad about your current mm. practices you do it in a much sustainable way in a much smarter way there person like me supriya or anyone who would like to come and support we are trying to support them mm. and uh, we don't want this cause to be treated as charity as mm. i said that is something i i don't endorse i believe that you know community should feel that is their responsibility to Correct. support our our friends who are in in living in the remote areas they are not privileged like you and me sitting in this cozy office mm. so the tree plantation happens through these communities hmm. who are tribal rural people they do not have any privilege to you know get employment opportunity at the same time these trees are well taken care by these communities correct. because we are helping them in their tribal art and craft correct yeah that's beautiful so priya how did this change your life uh so i mean you just mentioned that how <laughs> uh, why people should contribute toward cause or what kind of in, you know awareness sessions we should be uh, you know creating so one thing i think we forget or rather i would like to remind to everybody that it is a part of our indian constitution that as <laughs> as each and every citizen is supposed to respect improve its nature yes. or contribute in all possible ways so it is very well written um, as per the article 51 ag hmm. so that's why we launched uh, this platform and we want to invoke interest also amongst the listeners Correct. that while you are planting trees you are getting something out of it so Absolutely. it's kind of a win win for both the i mean for the environment conservation as well and we are giving something tangible to the people who want to kind of support the cause absolutely also this is the very first cause i think in india that is using trees as currency It's been lovely talking to both of them, uh, Pikran Tiwari and Supriya Patel, founders of Adivasi. dot org, who are using the strength of the tribal communities, uh, returning I think a lot of honor and grace to them in their lives, making them independent. Uh, making them a little more responsible towards themselves and their own community and at the same time passing this message in, message on to the urban population that those are the people that we need to respect those are the people that we need to support and those are the people that are actually keeping our lives a little more i think breathable yeah absolutely <laughs> than uh, what it is today uh, so in the effort to use trees as currencies and have people come and contribute to all of this where do you see yourself in the next 5 to 10 years you've already touched 23 states you have already started working with so many communities but you want more and more people to come join you and be able to contribute because yes it's not something that a small team you already have a good enough team but a team uh, that is as big as a number that you have right now maybe 90 to 100 people can right. do you want to reach out to as many people as possible and such a noble cause i must say that everybody should contribute in whatever ways possible so what do you see doing in the next decade or so uh thank you i mean first thing that you said you know we are trying to use trees as rupees currency yeah. you know so so no rupees only trees you know <laughs> and and you are right it is the uh, first kind of cause uh not in india i think as per my knowledge not even in the world because nice. because we are not selling the product we are selling the concept of you know the cause that you plant trees hmm. and get the product free correct normally you will find other players they are selling the product we are saying no i'm just you know you said that you know how do you see your organization in next 5 years in the long term i just close my eyes for a few seconds and imagine a world where people are getting all the products free of cost for the good karma right. so that good karma is nothing but plant trees say example right. if you want to get a product it could be as i said you know maybe this uh, shirt linen shirt or whatever you'd 
go and buy somewhere you pay x amount here you are just supporting by planting trees and mm. get the product free so if the product value is 1000 rupees you have to plant 10 trees if the product value is 500 you have to plant 5 trees mm. just imagine you are doing good karma getting the product free <laughs> so that is the kind of world i imagine in the long term you right. know so right. you may say this is vikram kya bada sapna dekh rahe ho but this is something you know i i feel that you know people can do it i mean we we all can do it because we all need these kind of products in our day to day life mm, it is not something i am asking for charity i am saying you get it you know you get the product free of cost mm. but just doing well, also with the, uh, with a shift in uh, i think mindsets that we need to really look at is being able to support what is coming from the adivasi population or from the remote areas or the yeah. rural areas of our country we are also helping them build a sustainable you know plan for them to stay back with their community and they don't have to keep migrating to the cities absolutely. looking for jobs absolutely you know as you know before this converse a discussion you know our the show you were saying that you know uh, one gentleman said that you know because of us the urban people you know the tribal communities the rural communities they are not getting you know sufficient water yeah. right yes yeah. yes it is true and mm. also you have to understand they are the one who are preserving they are the one yes. who are saving for us our yes. natural resources so yes. we must respect them absolutely. and how can you they are way above us yeah so when you pay x amount you feel that i'm doing charity favor to them sorry Because you don't do that. <laughs> you you simply come on Adivasi. dot org. Get the product. You know whatever you want to do. Rest we are doing. How we are doing? First we are working with them in terms of tree plantation and all. Second we are also adopting their village in terms right. of providing quality education to their kids. Correct. Where unfortunately government education system also not working appropriately. Mm. So we are helping them. We are helping them with sanitation. We are helping them in water you know conservation. We are helping them in uh, rejuvenating and uh, creation of new water bodies. Mm. Mm. we are helping them shifting from pesticide based cultivation to organic cultivation Correct. and the loss whatever they are going to make in this transition we as an organization adivasi.org is going to take care with your support when you are mm. buying or taking any product from us right right beautiful well if we have to collectively which is what the need of the r is become contributors to change that we always keep talking about uh, well then we're giving you to be a part of that change from the comforts of your home all you need to do is look up adivasi.org bikrant and supriya thank you so much for the great work you both doing through adivasi and uh, all the very best for every endeavor that you take up thank you so much ani you are being very kind and you are our green ambassador you are spreading <laughs> word about uh, our causes and many other causes of you know initiatives people are doing in the space so great you it's like kudos to you your thank you 94.3 radio 1